Hello everybody, my name is Lee Keither and welcome to Smokers on the Water. La la la, la 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 la, la 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 la. Okay, welcome back to another episode of Smokers on the Water. Um, in this one, we're going to do the same jalapeno chipotle style marinade that we did on the last video for the chuck roast, but this time we're going to be doing it with baby back ribs, just to see how it will turn out. This is all an experiment, so let's uh, get into it. First thing I'm going to go ahead and prep these. Uh, Get some of that blood out of there. Set those down. Face down so we can put the membrane. up a little bit. Start on this one first. See, this one's a little bit stubborn. It's got more of a curve to it. This one's a little flatter. I'm going to work this a little bit more. Eh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I can grab those. We're already kind of peeled over here. Not wanting to come, is it? All right. Well, it's not coming off. So for this one, I'm going to do the score technique, um, and all that basically is is I'm going to cut along here. This is supposedly as good as taking the membrane off. I don't know. But we're going to do it this way because this membrane doesn't want to come off. Good bunch of scores across there. We'll, uh, go with that. No matter what though, we're still going to feel around for a little, uh, little shard bones like this one right here. can't feel that through the camera but hopefully you can see that you don't want that especially that sharp thing right there you don't want it um poking you when you're trying to eat good ribs so get rid of that Put this bad boy over okay Come on, some of the I'm gonna save that. That's good. But you want to keep it aerodynamic. It's important to keep it aerodynamic on there. 
Okay. Give it a good check. Everything looks good. Now, of course, we're not going to rub these because we're going to throw them in here in the bags. Same thing on this side here. This one was just in your face. With ants. I am a bone shard. Get something a little bit more substantial to get this thing. That gets those little shards right there. Not a little bit better, but these little tabs off. Now, there's no way you're going to fit something that big into a bag that small. So, what we're going to do is cut these in half midway here. That'll fit better in the bag. Flip this over. Do the same thing. About midway point. Right. Looks like a little the silver skin right there. Yeah. Cut that. Yeah. That's ugly right there. You want that gone. Alright. These will smoke up the exact same way as they would if there were a whole rack of ribs. So it's no problem. It's just a half rack versus a whole rack. We just did this so it'll fit in the bag. And from this point on, we're going to open up, get these fillers in their bags, and hopefully it'll fit. Looks like it will, but. Please, right there. Right. The second one, we're going to get these bagged up and then we're going to go for our jalapenos. This part's being done on Sunday afternoon. Um, so, we want to have these ready for some taste testing. We're smoking tomorrow afternoon. And ready to eat tomorrow evening. Yeah. All right. Get that gloves off. Let's fill these up. Mountain olives, jalapenos. Mostly a liquid grip that we're after. There were a good bunch of jalapeno slices in there. Doesn't hurt the cause, obviously. Good. 
same thing. I'm trying to squish all that air out of there. All right. Put them bone side up so that the majority of the meat gets, if you can take a look at that, the majority of the meat's gonna get the marinade. I'm pretty sure it's getting all of it, but we wanna err on the side of caution. And uh, there you go. Still a little bit of air in this one, so. Try and squeeze and get it out of there. All right, that's yeah, that's much better. Position these around. And there we go. These are going to go to the outside fridge so we don't take up too much room in the uh, main fridge and um, we'll call it uh, get hopefully uh, these take on that jalapeno flavor and then they get that smoke flavor added we get the chipotle and we'll see you tomorrow all right it's the next morning Pretty good morning going on. Blue sky, it's a little chilly, but it's whatever. Um, let's get the fire going. I think I like to do is recycle the old bags. Going real good. That up, get some good airflow. About 20 minutes, we'll be ready to put some wood on, get this up to temperature, throw some ribs on. All right, um, I'm going to set up the smoked lard, but this time, for this particular project, I'm going to infuse it with some jalapeno chips. So, let me get the water up. All right. And instead of uh, buying those um, containers from Dollar Tree, which was pretty good value, I decided to do this. This is an old uh, creme brulee crap. Um, lined it with foil so I can use it over and over again. Works out pretty good and it's cheaper. So, Stick this in here. Get a decent amount there. I'm going to use a little bit more than I normally would because this, half of this, is going to be used for basting. Okay? Instead of spritzing it with the apple cider vinegar, I'm going to actually be basting it with this, and this is why we're doing the jalapenos just to add to, to the jalapenos is going to smoke along with the um, with the lard there. Um, the tallow brisket method of smoking the tallow. This is the lard, if you remember in the last room video what we did there. Um, in this case though, I'm going to add the jalapenos to it and the jalapenos and the lard is going to render down, get liquid, get the smoke, and then when it's time to base, you get a little bit more of that smoke kick in there, plus the jalapeno in there. Don't know. We'll see if it works, though. So, I'm just going to get a decent amount. 
jalapenos in here. This is going to be smoking the entire time. As a matter of fact, I'm putting it in uh, during the charcoal fire process at the very beginning. So it's getting smoked directly, right uh, immediately. I don't want to skimp on these. I want a real good amount of that flavor to infuse into the oil. When it melts down, I want all those jalapenos to infuse in while it's smoking. So, let's see. And I don't even know if it's gonna work, honestly. But, it just seemed like a good idea. And, um, we'll give it a shot. All right, like I said, I'm gonna be uh, putting this on early, real early, right there by the chimney. I'm gonna get all that smoke. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down. I get a lot of smoke from the charcoal, but you know I'm just gonna get this started real early so there's a lot of smoke infused in the lard when it renders down. The liquid, the jalapeno is gonna infuse in there, and we'll see what we got. All right, it's time to put the ribs down. Been marinating overnight. Get some stick that slab over there. Knock off the extra jalapenos. So. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. These turn out anything like those uh, chakras. We should be uh, should be good to go. All right. And you can even see that the jalapenos in the uh, lard rend in there. They're actually. Almost on a deep fry, but it's only like 250 degrees, so we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll see what happens. Here's been uh, briefed on what to do about the taste test. Do not BS. You're going to give me, whether it tastes good or not, it's not the problem. I want to know if this has achieved chipotle flavor translated onto the ribs. Sausage are just fun. So we'll throw these on. <laughs> All right, so, so what we got as taste testers is, what's your name? Sydney. Sydney. John, you yep. should know that one. I should know that, but I'm asking you everybody right. to say it. I know that's Jay, but your name is? Jay. Right? Todd, Todd but. Todd. See? And? Joseph. And of course, I'm Lee. Um, so we're going to, now, you all know the instructions. If it tastes good, it's not the thing I'm looking for. Does it taste like Chipotle? Smoked jalapeno. That's what we're looking for here. So we're going to drop this there. Skinny. You look gonna, like a user. It's gonna be hot to touch. You got plenty. All right, John. God bless. Yep. All right, Jay. Todd. <laughs> Joseph. And Sydney. Thank now, you. I'm going to take this last little small one, but everybody take Cheers. a bite. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. All right. Mm. Yep. I know I get the note I'm looking for. It's 
Yes. Yep. Unreal. Is there a jalapeno yes, and smoke? Mm-hmm. Smoke, a little bit of spice. Yep. Jay, you're in the middle of a fudo. I'm getting all the flavors <laughs> in at once. You know and also, like, and the jalapeno kicks after. Okay. I was about to say, yep. it's more of an we, after, aftertaste mm-hmm. with the jalapeno. You need the jalapeno kicks after. Cause right like, on. At first now, that like I, now that I have the, the flavor settling really in my mouth, and mm-hmm. then, like, I'm left with the spice, but just just the spice where I can define it. Um, yeah, it's hot. You get a little bit of that spiciness and the jalapeno comes through after. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Right. So the all, so the jalapeno, jalapeno, jalapeno <laughs> comes in on the back door, sort of high up here. This was another ex- successful experiment. We'll eat the rest of them. You guys, have a good one. Well, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And we'll try to have some more videos out here shortly. And stay tuned for the next one. Thank you for watching.